What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2018 movie You Might Be the Killer. So, in this movie, a young counselor named, camp counselor named Sam, uh, goes with a group of other camp counselors to this camp to get it ready and stuff, and, uh, he, him and his family own the land that this camp is on and stuff, so, uh, he knows, like, history of it and stuff, and he tells the, the other counselors the story of, of uh, an old mask that was supposedly buried on this land that was owned by an evil person and uh, so all the counselors naturally have to go looking for this mask and everything he ends up sneaking off and they he actually finds the mask and uh, this g girl that he's wanting to be with and stuff uh, forces it on him and it's like he doesn't want to put the mask on because he doesn't really know whether he believes in the curse or not but uh, she ends up putting it on him and it curses him automatically and he starts hearing these voices in his head and stuff and he's like blacks out and stuff and he wakes up uh, without his memory and stuff and is trying to figure out uh, what happened and stuff all the diff other counselors are, are dead and stuff He's he vaguely remembers killing them but he doesn't and most of the movie is him having this conversation with his friend that uh, about horror movies and how the night's going to end up ending and stuff like that. It, it's a pretty crazy movie. It takes some good twists and turns that I didn't expect. And I don't want to say too much about the story outside of what I've said because of the fact that uh, this is an independent movie and I know there are going to be a lot of people that haven't seen it, but um, I thought this was a really enjoyable movie though. It, uh, it at first I didn't like it like the first 20 30 minutes or so I, I just could not get into the movie and I really consider turning it off but and everything and they, they do the this thing with the storytelling where they when he's tell, talking to his friend and stuff about the kills and stuff they go out of order and it goes the the way it's done it just it jumps from different times of the night and everything and it just to me, it's kind of annoying. Uh, everything, it, the out of order storytelling, just kind of kind of annoyed me a little bit. But uh, once they got to the last one and the plot pretty much picked up from there, I, I absolutely loved it. I think it's a, a really really fun and entertaining movie. Uh, the the cast in here are all pretty good. Um, the only person I really recognized in here was this Allison Hannigan. Uh, and I've, uh, I've seen her on quite a bit of stuff, and I've always really liked her, and she was one of the reasons I got this movie and everything, and she's she's pretty likable in this movie, like she is in everything she's in that I've seen. Uh, I really like her, and Frank, uh, Fran Kranz, I think is how you say his name, plays uh, Sam, and I think he's a pretty good, good... Uh, actor for the role he does a good job in it all the other actors that, that are pretty much the other counselors that are there to get killed off I don't remember most of their names um, to be honest uh, no, I don't really know who is who in it but they, they were all fine in here uh, the only one I really remember is Samani is played by Brittany S. Hull and I don't know why she looks so familiar but I think I've seen her in something else but uh, her and of course the final girl Jamie are both pretty good and th like I said this movie has a really cool twist with the puts a big twist on the final girl twist and I love how like this movie feels like a mashup of of like it's like one part Friday the 13th one part uh, the mask and another part scream like it, it mashes all three of those together really well and everything and it, it is a lot of fun um, like I said, it just takes a little bit to get going, and I, I didn't really like the whole uh, way the way it, way it was written, where it uh, it like jumps back and forth at, at, at 
time periods of this story and everything. I thought that was, it just didn't work very well for this movie. It does in other movies where you go, you tell one part of the story, then you go back to the beginning of that part and so on and so forth. But it just didn't work in this one for me. Um, but uh, aside from that, I think it was a pretty good movie. The kills in here are pretty good too, especially this one in particular kid where, or uh, part where this kid gets his, gets a uh, splitting headache, if that makes sense. That was a really awesome scene, and there were, uh, there were a few other good kills, and it was also, but the there was um, some pretty bad CGI, too, in a few of them. Uh, some of them, it was more noticeable than others, but like the, they had CGI blood and stuff, it just didn't look right, and CGI blood very rarely does work in horror movies. But uh, I've also seen some bad practical blood too, so it's just getting the blood done in movies sometimes is kind of hard, so uh, I can give it a little bit of a pass. But um, but yeah, I really enjoyed You Might Be the Killer. It's a lot of fun. It has a, like I said, a really good story. The score in here is pretty good too, and the way that the cinematography and stuff in this movie is, it's like they were trying to make it feel like an 80s movie and feel like it fit, would fit right at home in the Friday the 13th franchise, which I thought that was kind of cool too, because anyone who knows me knows I love Friday the 13th. It's one of my favorite franchises. Uh, but this is a, a definitely kind of, it's definitely one I'd recommend. It, it's kind of underrated and stuff. Uh, I uh, also love the humor in here too. Uh, there's a lot of good meta jokes in here and references to to other horror movies and stuff it's kind of like with scream and a lot of times when they do that in other horror movies outside of scream sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't this is one of the ones where i think it works really good and stuff especially like towards the end of it and i also love the ending like i said it took some turns and i, I thought that i had the ending figured out in my head and everything i was like i know exactly how where this movie's going and it totally totally surprised me it went in a totally different direction and it, it was awesome I need to stop saying totally I'm starting to sound like Linda from Halloween but uh, yeah so anyway uh, I'd say I'd give this movie a, a 7.5 out of 10 and I, if it weren't for the, the little bit of pacing and just not really liking how the the time jumps around in this movie uh, I, I probably would have liked it a lot more, but, uh, yeah, so, anyway, uh, let me know in the comments what you think of You Might Be the Killer if you've seen it, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.